It's happening in every neighborhood. Down every street. Sickness. Addiction. And violence has been turning countless homes into crime scenes. Suffering. Depressed. Alone. Suicidal. Wake up, Hong Kong. The Spirit of God is with you. Do you have problems? We have solutions. In tonight's program, we'll be watching the story of Marie Lu. After that, we'll be back. Stay with us. Hi, we're here with Marie Lu Tenilon, who's going to be sharing with us how she was able to transform her situation. She had facing problems and she found the right solutions right here at the UCKG. So Marilu, thank you for joining us today. Um, please share with us a bit about the problems that you used to face. Yes, um, before I came in here in UCKG Health Center, I had uh, um, big problems. My life is uh, destroyed. I, uh, I was married, but uh, uh, I was broke up with my husband. And also I was very emotional. And also I had family problems with my brothers to use uh, drugs, um, cigarettes, and also he is a womanizer. And uh, also um, he's a troublemaker in our family. And also I had depressed, I had a um, physical problem, like uh, I was, um, I had a severe pain in my stomach, I, it, it leads me, always me collapse all the time, and also I had a breast uh, lump. And also, uh, I had a high cholesterol. So all those sicknesses, yes. my goodness, it must have been affecting your, your work while yes. you were, because you're working overseas, right? Yes. Um, so was it easy, was it hard to work with all those problems? No, uh, it was very hard. When I wake, woke up in the morning, um, I had, uh, my, ha my heart is uh, uh, beat fast because of this problem and then I, I had a negative thoughts uh, how to end up in the afternoon and then I had a depression I had a suicidal thoughts it's not easy for me during uh, to, to dwell every day in my life mm -hmm. that's why it lead, leads me up um, into de depressed depression mm -hmm. any other areas of your life that you were also affected previously uh, yes because um, because of my behavior mm -hmm. uh, I cannot deal with someone because I get easily angry. Yeah. Yes, assistant. And also in my in my my family, I, I cannot talk with them, uh, especially my father, because I had grudges toward towards them. Because when I was young, uh, uh, they they let me go to my grandmother, and also um, at the age of ten years old, I work as early, and also I. I I get uh, married at early, 19 years old. So they, I guess, what, what was the reason that you had to go to your grandparents? Um, because those time I, I am the eldest, mm -hmm. so uh, they cannot uh, provide me to go to school. That is why they, 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 they put me in my grandmother's uh, place that I cannot, I cannot, um, uh, I, I never experienced their love. As their, as my parents, mm -hmm. that's why um, I, I, I'm very angry with them, and then it leads me um, into uh, trauma. You yeah. felt like abandoned somehow, yes. right? Yes. And then I guess at your grandparents, if you started working early, it's because you still didn't have enough to take. Yes, care, right? because they cannot put me in school, mm -hmm. so I need to to go to to work in my teacher so that they can finish my high school. Mm -hmm. Wow, just for high school, even. yes. Um, and you got married early, I guess, in a way to find a way out of yes, that life. Right? Yes. Um, did that make you happy though? Once you got married, well, when I get married, at first I thought that it's end up of my problem because um, uh, since I don't have, uh, I never feel love to my parents. Mm -hmm. So I thought that's when I get married. 
it's exactly finished my problem but it's not it start to to give me hatred and humiliated with my my um, my in-laws uh, because I can I never finish my studies so they yes. used to humiliate because of that yes oh, okay I see uh, and then you said actually that marriage even didn't work out, right? What happened there? Like how? Uh, after seven years um, uh, living together with my ex-husband, um, starting to uh, betray me, mm -hmm. and then to have uh, someone in in my in my house, I come uh, I come home, that someone in my house already that uh, leads me really really depressed those time, and uh, also I, I I in my, my myself I want I was I want to re revenge. Mm. Of my situation. Yeah, my I can imagine an easy situation yeah. to go through, right? Um, but then, uh, okay, so then you're facing all these problems. That's the time you, when you started coming to the UCKG. Uh, what happened from that day forward? Um, when I came here in the UCKG Health Center, I start to learn what the man of God teach about and also how to apply all the teaching. And also I joined some purposes in the church like campaign to campaign so that uh, uh, I, I, I learn how to, how to grow spiritually in my life. And uh, how about like um, what did you do to like? What did you, what actions did you take? So you you grew spiritually, which of course I'm sure helped on the inner part. Yeah. Right? But what about on the outside? What, what did you learn how to take actions? Like how was it? Really? Yeah. Um. I I take a fasting and pray all the time, and then asking for uh, for the guidance on how to to solve my problems because I cannot solve my problems by my own. That is why uh, when I come here in the UCKG Health Center, I learned a lot. I learned how to how to deal with people and then how to forgive people, and especially um, uh, how to how to deal with uh, someone. So you worked on yourself. Yes, you actually. So it wasn't just about praying or fasting, but you practically learned how. Yes, to, I, I took an action yeah, of it yeah. to to deal with my uh, problems. Exactly. Okay, so uh, so then after that, you started working on yourself. You started being able to take action in your life for yes. the better. Uh, what's the result? Uh, now the result as is, is um, I was very happy and uh, I'm no longer emotional and I can talk to my parents uh, in a nice way and uh, especially this uh, during this uh, pandemic uh, I had my own houses and I had uh, businesses I had my uh, uh, ser uh, water services I had my fishman and I I, I am the one of the guarantor in uh, one of the malls in in Philippines mm -hmm. and here also in uh, in my employer I had a high salary and now um, I had peace inside of me and the joy that uh, I overcome everything um, uh, I really thanks God that I am here in SKG so you could see say there was a complete transformation in yes. your life now but, you're happy. Yes, I am happy, and also my my the problems of my my brothers mm -hmm. is uh, uh, finished, and then he is uh, he's a man of uh, uh, to their uh, uh, to their childrens, and he is a good father on their children. Now now my family are very happy, and also my father also they are my father and my mother they are very happy because of the transformation in my life. Yeah, so your relationship with your parents is Yes, we are really good now. We had a good communication with them. I can say I love you with them. And now, yeah, we are very happy. And because they saw me uh, transform, and also they are very happy also. Because before, we don't have any peace. We, we, I cannot call them. I never call them for, uh, it's okay for me, one year. But now we are very happy. And we had peace and joy inside of me. That's great. Thank you so much for sharing with us. We can really see the transformation and that you really found a real solution to your problem. Yes. You, right? So thanks for joining us and thanks Thank again you. for watching. I'm not leaving this hospital until I know what's wrong with my daughter. Do you want out? That's fine with me. Welcome back. You just witnessed the story of Marie Lou. 
a lady that suffered from a young age going into marriage and then suffering divorce. One problem after the other. Now, remember that in tonight's program, we are not judging people. The purpose of the program is to help you find a solution. She found a solution, and we're going to help you find as well a solution. Let us pay close attention to the following scripture. Why are you depressed, O oh my soul? Why are you upset? Wait for God, for I will again give thanks to my God for his saving intervention. Very well. You that is watching the program today, you may be going through a situation in your life that you are feeling hopeless. You're panicking and you want to solve your problem quick. Now, the problem with doing things quickly is that we are exposed by making mistakes. And some mistakes can cost us dearly. You look here and you listen to the story of Marie Lou. She was feeling empty. She was feeling unhappy at home. She suffered a lot of uh, rejection. She was abandoned as a child. And then uh, her family was very dysfunctional. In short, she ran away from home, got married at an early age. Trying to solve one problem, she got into another problem. And maybe that happened in your life. You're trying to fix one problem and you're creating another problem. In short, you did not solve any problem at all. So the scriptures here, they talk about people not having peace of mind. People that have their soul troubled. And if you're feeling like that, if you feel troubled and you feel like uh, doing something that could compromise your future, I want you to wait for a minute right now. Stop whatever you're doing. Pay close attention to this. There is a way out for you and you can change the story of your life. All that you need to do is find direction. If you find the right direction, you can solve your problems without creating bigger problems. We know that Mary Lou was so worried about her family, worried about her brother, who suffered with a drug addiction. Much of her money was lost. And maybe you're working for many years trying to support your family, trying to find a solution for your family, and you unfortunately have witnessed in your family financial losses. Maybe you had to mortgage the land or sell the house, and there may have been family members that suffered with addictions. Not because they wanted to get the addiction. Nobody grows up and nobody's born uh, with a dream to get addicted. Sometimes the addictions, they come into our family because of bad company. Sometimes there are addictions in the family because of abuse, because of bullying, people that try to drink, smoke, gamble, or use drugs to forget about their problem. And then you may have been feeding the addictions of your family unknowingly. Every time you were sending money back home, you realized that the house wasn't finished, the land wasn't bought, and all the projects that you invested in they have not been completed. Every two years, you go on holiday, and when you go on holiday, you realize that your family situation, your finances, your projects, they are stuck. Everything is in the same way you left it two years ago. So what do you need to do? Well, first of all, you need to stop making the same decisions over and over again, because if you do the same thing over and over again, you will always have the same results. Now, Marie Lou's biggest problem was that she was 
tormented with unforgiveness. I know she had many problems in her life, but the biggest problem was unforgiveness. And the unforgiveness in her life was stealing her peace. Now, I want to read with you the following. Let's read here together. Unforgiveness is like drinking poison yourself and waiting for the other person to die. Very well. So if you have been trapped in unforgiveness, if you are in a prison of unforgiveness, and simply because of this negative feeling, this negative emotion, you can't sleep at night. When you wake up, you wake up angry. When you hear the name of a person that hurt you, that harmed you, you become very nervous. This unforgiveness within you is blocking the progress in your life, blocking your financial decision making. It's blocking your good mental health. It's even impeding you from good work performance and above everything else. It's not allowing you to grow. In, you could have been uh, years ahead growing mentally, spiritually, but the unforgiveness, it has caused you to be, you know, chained up. It's tying up your life. And in tonight's program, I want to minister to you a prayer for you to be free from unforgiveness. So right now, we're going to bless water and you will be able to send in your name for us to include it in tonight's prayer. All right. Send it right now. Get your glass of water ready and let's begin the ministration of power. Let's bless this water to clear your minds. Father, in the name of Jesus, right now, we bless this glass of water with a purpose to clear the minds and with a purpose to bring to this person direction. This man, this woman that has felt confused and hopeless, I speak into your life freedom and liberty be delivered from the unforgiveness, be delivered from your spiritual prison, be delivered from your emotional pain. And right now, let peace enter your life. As we bless this water and we get ready to drink this water, we determine that our mind will be cleansed and washed and that our mind will never be the same again. In the name of Jesus Christ, I bless you from here with a new heart, with a new mind, with purpose, with freedom, and with power and strength, that with a clear mind, you will be able to find solutions, see the solution to your problem, and make the right decisions. Let us drink this water together right now. Very well. So I believe that you are blessed. Your mind and your soul have found peace. Now, I would like to invite you to connect with us because here at the Help Center, we're open seven days a week. During the entire lockdown, the pandemic, our doors are open to receive people one on one. We have a team of counselors, a team of pastors that are ready to give you guidance and advice. We want to help you find the solution to your problem. Each case is different and every person has different challenges. We'll do our very best to help you get back on track in life with confidential and non-judgmental guidance and advice. Now, what you can do is text us tonight 
via Facebook or send us a WhatsApp message. And we'll promise you we'll get back in touch with you and we can arrange a free counseling appointment. All right? May all of you be blessed wherever you are. We'll be back again tomorrow with the program Problems and Solutions. I'm not leaving this hospital until I know what's wrong with my daughter. If you want out, that's fine with me.